Hundreds of St. Lucians began receiving food packages of a different kind this week with the launch of the Good Food Boxes initiative. The boxes are filled with local produce from St. Lucian farmers as part of government's social stabilization plan in response to COVID-19. Lisa Joseph reports. The Good Food Boxes initiative was launched on Wednesday, June 10, 2020. In its first week, 770 boxes of locally grown food will be distributed as part of the government's National Meals Program. The initiative will also serve as a new supply outlet for farmers who have been displaced due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney visited the market in Bordenotza, where the food boxes are prepared on Wednesdays and Fridays weekly. So we're looking to do about a thousand households to begin with and you know on average is four or five people in a household uh, and then we're trying to grow that number. Uh, so for the next couple of weeks we'll do the thousand and continue to grow from that point. But I, I think this is a, a very effective way to be able to, to help people at this very difficult time and that we're able to now help the farmers who have lost a significant market um, because of person's incomes being less, but also because the hotels are closed. Um, and then for the government, certainly being able to get great value um, for, the, for the money that we're putting into this, it's able to help substantially more people than the way that we were doing it initially. I think the initial way was important, um, but as time has gone by and the team has continued to review the situation, we think that this is going to be the most effective way um, for the next couple of months. The marketing board is serving as the central depot for the Good Food Boxes Initiative. Teresa Daisy is the assistant general manager. Purchasing from our group, farmer groups, are some, namely Angers, Saltibus, Buns, Grace, and we have individual farmers who are coming in to drop whatever produce that they have on the ground right now. As you're aware that we were faced with uh, a series of um, the dry weather, and, and as a result, we... Uh, getting a limited amount of produce but in as much as we are looking to ensure that the packages look as attractive enough we work with whatever we have and in the packages we have produce like um, namely plantain, ripe banana, pumpkin, cantaloupe, honeydew, tomatoes and we have added some more stuff from the imported side which are the, uh, garlic, onions and potatoes. Earl Hippolyte, a farmer from Deglo, has lauded the government for the National Meals Program as it has provided a much needed market for farmers during this challenging time. I'm supplying a thousand pounds of plantains to the program. However, I sell to NFTO. The, most, the bulk of my bananas I sell to NFTO. Uh, and the plantains I sell locally. And um, now, Massey, I have a market at Massey as well. And uh, now with uh, marketing board. Actually, it's the first time I'm selling plantains to marketing board. I heard there is a feeding program. Farmers who are interested in supplying produce are asked to contact the Senusha Marketing Board. For the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.